Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and my screen screen is messed up because I got my, my board out here. There we go. That works. That works. That's all fixed. Good evening. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Hi, Plugly. It's Plug Plug Brooks. What's up, bro? I've got uh, I've got the chat turned off, don't I? Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi. Hi there. There we go. So, um, last time we left off, we were completing the conveyor belt. Uh, I think I'd gotten this one, and we determined that that was not birch wood, and that it needed to be corrected, right? Uh, we have, we have, um, oak, cherry, elm, this should have been birch, but instead I used something else. And then it goes red, walnut, uh, koa, fir... Yep, fir tree, pine tree, and then it goes up to that one, which is, what is that? Is that end times? I think that might be, no, that's ice. Oh, I kind of did like a backwards order. It goes gold, green, oops, sorry, zombie. Um, palm, is that palm wood? Palm wood, blue wood, uh, or cave crawler, or electric wood, whatever you want to call it. Spook wood, sinister wood, and then it goes end times, uh, glow fur and ice so um not really too much exciting tonight i mean I'm, I'm going to be building and i'm going to be talking about like coronavirus and stuff like that so controversial things uh if you wanted to tune in or whatnot and that's pretty much it that is going to be tonight's video it's just me hanging out and having fun uh which is is always fun for me you know I have fun in these videos. Um, I'm a little tired. <laughs> Just woke up from a nap, and y'all know that I sleep on the couch. It's it's nice having naps before bed. You know, I wish I wish everybody could get a nap in before having to go to bed. You know, uh, was it three? Is that it? Yeah, we have to turn it around three times. Then we just set that up and for those of you that don't know what's going on um, these are automatic conveyor belts to automatically sort the wood for us and I'm conserving the wires by placing these back to back directly on the surface now I should be able to go over here off to the side directly down below oh wait I don't need to go down below on these. I can just go right directly there. That is awesome. Finished. Because I've got the I've got the wood detectors on the opposite side of the thingies. That's nice. So this one, move. Uh, I should be able to go one like that. Place here. Make sure it's level. Good. And then I have to do this one. Move, one, two, three. Place here. Place, 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 place. Uh-oh, one, two, three. What's going on with that? What, is, is there, oh, it's lag. There's lag. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, so uh, I don't expect a lot of you have probably seen this, but there is a show on Fox, I think it's Fox, called uh, The Last Man on Earth. And it's it's not very family friendly. Uh, I'll, I'll just warn you real quick. Um, but it came out in 2017. And what's crazy is there there's... Uh, it's about a virus that takes over the world and The Last Man on Earth is somebody that was immune to it. Anyhow, what I found funny was... In season three, episode ten, there's this thing called an Alana, right? And it's supposed to be like the Alexa, the the Amazon Alexa. Alexa, it's like Alexa, what is the weather going to be today? What is the news? Stuff like that, and it'll it's your personal assistant. Blah blah blah. Some of us have them, some of us don't. A lot of us have them on our phone, Siri, Google, whatever the case may be. They're personal assistants, right? The Alana looked 
extremely similar to the fake Roblox console called the Robox, R-O-B-O-X, that was released April 1st, 2019. Um, what makes this funny is the Al uh, Al Alana came out in 2017, two years before the Roblo Robox came out. So 2019, 2017. There are so many things inside that episode that are just echoing in today. I mean, the Karen thing. A, a lot of people have, if you haven't heard the term Karen, it's uh, it's somebody who thinks they're entitled. Uh, it's, a, it's a female person who thinks that they're entitled and they want to speak to the manager because they think they've been wronged. Anyhow, it's it's... The entire episode is about a Karen. <laughs> so the predictions that are made inside that sitcom, that move that not movie, the the show, are being reflected so perfectly in today's society, like 2020. It's scary. It was like uh, I don't I don't know how to say it. I and I I can't say it without offending somebody, so you know what? I'll just I'll just leave it alone. Uh, I'm trying to build here, buddy. Hey, you were the person that was on here yesterday. Can you move? Ex excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to build. Thank you. <coughs> I'm gonna have to get a hold of the manager. Default you all, manager. <laughs> Rotate. Let's go one rotation. We'll go right there, I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Yeah, that's right. And one, two, three. Place this at the back, and then we can just set that on up. Like that, and then move this on in. We should. I should be able to get all these done in this episode. So I, I will I will stop messing around, code, and just get her done. Uh, oh, that's that's not good. Okay, you are in the way. You need to come over here for a second. So you are gonna go right here. You move one, two, three. We're gonna go right here. We're going to set you up to the max standard like that. Uh, oh, and by by the way, a huge shout out once again to Morgs. Uh, and to Zoe for for the um, for the timers, the sustains, and all the logic. Uh, without you guys, this would not have been possible. Oh, and huge shout out to their channel. Oh, hold on, hold on. You guys are totally getting a shout out because um, because you're awesome. Hold on, where is he? There he is. No, I don't. I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. Elapsa, Elapsa, get a hold of Steven. Tell him I don't want to play it. I want to. I want to subscribe. Huh. There we go. Okay, so um, here we go. Roblox studio. Pull, pull, pull. Uh, Zoe and Morgs number three. We go to Palm Island. Right there. They've got eleven subscribers so far. Zoe and Morgs. You guys are amazingly awesome. Thank you for being huge fans, and I am so proud that you have started a YouTube channel. And in fact, uh, shout out to Morgs for taking the chance to jump into the online internet world. And let's go get them some subscribers. I will leave, I will leave a link to their channel down below. In fact, here, I'll grab it right here. I can't, I can't put it in the chat or anything, but. Look in the description down below and you will find a link directly to their channel. They've got three videos up so far. Make them famous for me. Uh, I, I know you can. I know you can do it. So you, you can pause the video right now and go subscribe if you want. Uh, if you're on computer, hold control, click on the link. It'll open up a second tab. That way you don't lose your place here. You can come back. Okay? So uh, Only if you want to. Only if you want to. That's uh, It's always been by choice. I've never forced anybody or said, you gotta do it. Um, okay, one, two, three, should be the key. 
two success. And one, two, three. Right there. One thing that makes building faster is knowing what your rotations and turns do. Um, I've kind of gotten used to them over the, the years, of just like how to move everything. Can you tell the difference by the bar? Hey, what? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Finished. There we go. So, um, I already know that this is going to be one rotation off from point center. Right? So, all I've got to do is just go move, one rotate, and place. Uh-oh. Is that above the line? <gasps> is that above the line? It's going to cut it close. But then I can go out with this one. And I know that this one, in rotation comparison, hold up, there we go. This one is going to be three rotations off. So I go one, two, three, and then I can just place it. And it's good to go. We get the signal coming out the back in the exact direction we want. And now we can just hook up the wire. And I know that the signal comes off the back of it, or you can actually attach it to the side. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. I probably didn't need to because it's it's so relatively short distanced. No. Because I like how easy and and fast that was, I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's go. Oh, come on. Right here. There we go. Uh, hopefully it's still three rotations, is it? One, two, three, place to the back. The rotation should be relative. Yeah, they are. Mm. Excuse me, I had a little burpee. So, um, I also got to start in on a new project today. And it's basically, it's like a show and tell kind of thing. Um, we have the technology to do awesome stuff inside uh, the place that I work. So what I do a lot of the times is I will mock up a um, program or an idea that somebody comes up with. And then I will... Uh, I basically, I program everything to it so it has a nice demo. Um, and then once that demo is ready to be tested, I hand it over to my boss man and he goes and shows it to whoever was interested in the program. And then they come back with like, yeah, we really like that. Or no, we, we want to change this, blah, blah, blah. So it's a, it's a prototype, mm, a demo. I don't know what you want to call it. But that's what I did today. And I was very proud of it. I mean, it's very, very slick, very clean. Used a lot of cool buttons, which you normally don't want to do that inside uh, business applications. But I had freedom of design, which most of the time I, I have freedom of anyway. But the uh, I always try to work on functionality first, because I mean it can look pretty all day long, my whatever program I make. But if it don't function, it's pointless. It's like a it's like a candy cane axe, you know. It it looks good. Would have been nice if it had some some oomph to it whenever you first open the package, but you know, I can't let in on any more else about what it is. But you know, the uh, the fact that <laughs> that first day that everybody opened up the candy cane axe and take it over to a tree and whack. <laughs> falls down. What's this? <laughs> oh. The sheer disappointment. I remember it. Like it was yesterday. Yesterday. Oh my pieces have gone away. Oh my gosh. What? I have forgotten that song. Oh I believe in yesterday. What are you guys yelling back there? Oh, 
sustains. Wait, what? Are these... Oh, no. That's a delay. That's not a sustain. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a delay. There's a sustain. That's a sustain. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so a sustain we can use, a delay we cannot. You guys you guys know the difference between sustains and delays? Okay, so a delay, the signal turns on, it'll start charging at the bar. And then once it gets up to the top, then the signal will pass through. That's a delay. A sustain is signal hits, it goes full blast, and the signal is passed. Once this, the signal is removed on this side, it will start tick timing down like signal off. So the delays and the sustains are going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take this down. We know that this is going to be an issue, so. Oh no, it's a delay. Um, let's go ahead and get this wire out of the way just for the moment. What is this? Is this a delay or sustain? Oh, that's a, that's a conveyor. That's not what I was looking for. <clears throat> that's a sustain. That's systemic. Existential. Did it, that'll work. <laughs> okay. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And we can go right there. And then we can move this one. Move, rotate, rotate, rotate. Come on, do it on the move, do it on the move. Nope, can't do it, okay. Gotta stop moving, there we go. Come on you, get on there. Why, why is it not? <clears throat> there we go. Sorry, my, my Missouri accent came out for a second. That's one thing, um, I am from Springfield, Missouri, right? And one thing I've noticed growing up in uh, in this area is my Missouri Southern accent. It's not quite, it's not the accent like in Missouri, or sorry, in Texas, all right? In Texas you have Southern draw and, and y'all and, and just a, a different speech pattern, right? In Missouri we have different words like Wash. You got a wash rag? You go and put it in the washing machine. Is that your dishwasher? Other things that we have are, are words like yonder, which is a measurement of distance. Over there, yonder. It just means like in the distance. And then you plumb. The word plum. I know a lot of you know, you're like, oh yeah, we've, we've got the word plum. It's a, it's a fruit. No, plum is in distance. Plum over there. Yeah, I, my wash machine out in the, the field, it's over there yonder. Plum over there. <laughs> you guys are like, what code? What are you, what are you talking about? <clears throat> so work that in today's... Uh, in today's sentence, um, next time you have a conversation or something like that, try and work in the word plum or yonder when, when using distance. See if anybody understands you. Unless you're from Missouri, and then the people will be like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, uh, I don't have my coffee with me. <laughs> could be Could be part of the issue that's going on right now. Got my ADHD just out of control. Wait, was that a sustain? Or was that a... I don't know what that was. Oh gosh. This is a delay. That's a delay. That's not gonna work. Ah, come on. Oh, there we go. Nope. We go here, go here. Finished, good. Was this a, was this a delay? 
this off to the side, just for a second. And this one was a sustain, right? Mm-hmm. That's a sustain. Sustain. Sustain, delay, delay. What is this? That is a delay. That is a delay. A dilly, a dilly dally. It's a dilly. It's silly dilly. Silly, silly dilly dally. Dolly. What? Close. Silly belly. Silly. S silly. <laughs> Finished. There we go. Okay, so everything's out of the way. Um, hold on. did I not have cherry wood in there yesterday? I could have sworn I had cherry wood in there. All right, let's go down. There we go. And we're just going to take off a slice here. Hold on, where is my fanny axe? There it is. Let's hit Tabaruski. Change that with the first one. There we go. So now I should be able to just hit one time. Grab. And now we're just gonna go fill these in. Oh my goodness, we are at 21 minutes. Nice. We still got like nine minutes of build time left. Welcome to build time with code. Hello. And, uh, hello. First off, I wanted to thank you for allowing me back into your homes this evening. <clears throat> I'd like to invite you to grab out your oil paints and paint along with us as we go over to the canvas here. Let's get started. Bob Ross, man. Bob Ross is a legend. If you don't know who I'm talking about, get off my channel. Just kidding. You can, you can stay. Bob Ross, the famous painter. The painter who... Ooh, what's this? I don't know, but I bet we can sort it. I bet this is birch. We need to set this into the machine. I think so. I think I think this is what we need to do. We need to go and set this. Unless do I already have red wood? It's it's red wood. Red wood. Hence wood that is red. done hey it's done wow that was a lot quicker than I thought it was I thought it was going to take forever because I've been feeling lagged this entire time I was wrong say thank you to the lag monster thank you lag monster drop that and then we can go right here whoa, 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 whoa. come on there we go Doing it on the move. Come on, please. Ooh, good. So now we should be able to place this over here like this. Let's place it right in the center to kind of simulate what it would look like coming up the conveyor belt. And hopefully, if all goes well, turn. Turn. Is that a delay? It's a delay! <laughs> oh no. Alright, so there's a delay. Is there any way to tell the difference right off the bat? Okay, so like, there's no gaps in that one. But I bet this one's got gaps, what do you think? Yeah. See the gaps? That's a delay. 
no gaps is a sustain. So just by looking at these, that's a delay. So we need to move this right there. What about that one in there? That's a, that's a delay. Move that one right there. Where's this one? That's a delay. No. <laughs> no. That's okay. What is this? Is this a sustain? That's a sustain. That's a delay. Oh man. Sustain. Delay. He says I have some sustains. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll go find some. I just have to count out how many I'm going to need. Hey, that'll give me an episode. So I can go and collect the sustains. So, it looks like we have one, two, three. Oh wait, hold on. Let's start counting from over here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I need to pick up 11 sustains. So if somebody could uh, chat that in the comments down below, code, you need 11 sustains. That would be awesome. Would love that. That way it reminds me for tomorrow's video. Um, but I'm going to call it a night because I'm tired. I, I, I kind of want to go watch some, some cartoons or something, maybe drink some coffee and get myself to calm down a little bit. So because I've been so exciting this time. <laughs> oh. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Happy building. Happy building. And we'll talk to you soon. <gasps> Outro.